Hi everyone, I hope you all enjoyed Diwali. So if you're someone who's planning to become a Salesforce admin or if you just want to become a Salesforce professional, be it Salesforce developer, Salesforce consultant, Salesforce architect, Salesforce business analyst. So there are a lot of roles. So if you're thinking that you want to switch to Salesforce because it is one of the top notch careers and it's uh, paying really great. So I kind of made transition to Salesforce business analysis by learning Salesforce admin skill only. So if you're thinking that you want to switch to Salesforce, Salesforce, be it uh, if you're in any uh, technology and you, you think that it's the right career for you. So I'm going to be telling you where you can learn admin skills for this video. I'm also going to be creating a series wherein I will be telling you how, uh, what exactly topics that you are going to need to learn Salesforce admin. And then I'm uh, going to switch to Salesforce developer as well. But right now we are just going to know the uh, skills and the exact material wherein you can learn Salesforce and that too for free. You, you you will not need to invest anything just this uh, certification cost is a uh, little bit high but that too you can um, you know, get uh, uh, the vouchers for that uh, by logging to trailhead platform and there are certain events wherein you will get a voucher for same so i didn't pay for my certification uh, salesforce certification but uh, if you just uh, navigate through salesforce trailhead you will know that uh, there are a lot of things that salesforce offers a lot of financial aid and uh, things like that so yeah uh, coming back to salesforce admin role so if you're uh, just thinking to moving uh, this uh, to this platform salesforce admin skill is utmost important because it's the basic platform knowledge that you should have uh, as a Salesforce uh, admin or as a Salesforce professional. So where, in, where exactly you can learn the skills. So as I mentioned, you can navigate through Trailhead platform. So I'm going to be uh, providing you the link uh, in the description box below for the Trailhead platform. What you need to do is just log into that platform and uh, search for the Salesforce admin module. And there you will find that uh, Salesforce admin module is present and uh, there are a lot of badges, a lot, lot of points that you get once you complete one of the uh, reading the paragraphs of Salesforce, reading one of the uh, sections of Salesforce uh, module. So yeah, there are different different sections. If you complete all the section in uh, one single module, there you will get badges. So what it's like a fun way to learn because mm, just like we used to play video games and we used to earn points, then you, we used to uh, move to a certain level. So similarly, they provide us the badges in the Salesforce, which is kind of great because we are kind of addicted to gaming platforms uh, right from uh, our childhood. So similarly, Salesforce platform is uh, almost similar. So if you want to play a game and uh, still want to be a great professional and want a great career, so learn through Salesforce Trailhead. Um, there you will uh, get the modules of other uh, Salesforce uh, roles as well, such as Salesforce business analysis. And I would uh, suggest you if you're thinking that you have a great analyzing uh, capabilities, you know how to analyze data, you know how to analyze uh, a particular business scenario. So you can move to Salesforce business analyst role, just like I did. And uh, if you think that you want to code, if you have already have learned Java, uh, you can also learn Apex, which is kind of similar uh, in the Salesforce ecosystem. So you can do that as well. Uh, they also have a great documentation available. I will also link that in the description box below. If you go and download that uh, particular documentation, you will find a lot of uh, great knowledge on that particular document. You will know how to navigate through Salesforce uh, a platform you will exactly know what uh, what is salesforce you will uh, know a lot of functionalities of it basically uh, but uh, you have to move to uh, 100 pages you will find on the 100 uh, 100th page you will find exactly the things that you require because that that is a very 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 long document and i, I don't recommend you to uh, read the entire documentation and i also feel that documentations are better than uh, watching a video because they have it whole and uh, if you have a, a learning capability and you think that you want to learn every single thing then documentations are a best way because in through videos you only learn what is going uh, going to be taught to you and in the documentation a lot of things are there and you will feel whole you will feel that you have much knowledge than uh, watching single video also if you're a fan of uh, watching videos i would suggest you to watch the apex r playlist of salesforce administration and i've also linked that uh, video uh, playlist in the description box below so just go and check that out 
So if you've completed uh, this uh, steps, learn through trailhead, learn through documentation, learn through videos and uh, created one project. So there are a lot of projects on trailhead platform that you can practice on your own. So yes, uh, after learning Salesforce admin, just uh, uh, work on one single project and uh, add it in your resume. And then the next step that I would want to recommend is if you're uh, applying through Nokri, LinkedIn, Glassdoor, Indeed, Shine, or maybe any platform uh, that you're applying through, uh, what you can do is just go on a Trailhead platform. There is a community page over there wherein a lot of job posts uh, are there. People uh, kind of have requirement for a Salesforce professional. So I suppose uh, that would help you a lot in finding a job in Salesforce as well. And the other, the other way that you can apply for Salesforce role is uh, um, directly connect with the HR on, on LinkedIn. So they kind of look uh, what are uh, the skills that you have and if you're able to uh, provide uh, the same then they hire you directly so yeah this way you can uh, search for it and yeah i think that I, I have covered all that i wanted to talk about and yes i am going to be creating a salesforce playlist very soon but um, you need to start learning from now and i hope this video helps you out and if you have any query suggestion or if you want to, me to update uh, anything that you think uh... all right if you have any query suggestion or you want me to create a video on uh, you have any topic in your mind please write it in the comment section below i would highly appreciate those comments because that's how i'm able to create videos for you all and i always want to be helpful for people so yes please do write in the comment section below it would immensely help me and yeah thank you for watching this video bye bye